Tiffany. Do you feel pressured? Nice. Do you feel pressure to be successful? That's do you, today's. Do you need? Do you pressure? need pressure? Do you feel pre- right? Do you need pressure? Do you need pressure? Do you need? Oh my! Bad. Do you need? Wait, hold on. Let's get the countdown. Oh, I thought we were still going. <laughs> wait, is this not recording? Yeah, it is. It's been, it has. All stopped. right, let's cool. Yeah, let's keep it. Here. Three, two, one. Wait, wait. Do you? No, need... wait. Just let her. Know. <laughs> no, just let her. I can't keep up. up. My brain not working today. Do you, do you need, need pressure, pressure to be, be successful? Success? What? Uh, Today's topic is Do you need pressure to be successful? So I say that because oftentimes you have to create your own pressure and still be very calm when you are creating your own pressure, right? Like, it is. I can have problems in my own personal relationship and that could be pressure for me to be successful. For sure. When you never try, that's when you really fail and that's when you let the pressure. You succumb to the pressure that you felt. Whatever obstacle we face, we just have to overcome it. And yeah. I think that's why I don't feel the pressure of failing. Right. Because failing is not, an, not option. an option. Wow. So yeah. it came so down to the wire. So like I, it was either do or die. Right. So that was probably the, the most pressure I received at that moment. Oh, like, <laughs> you know, like, yeah, no, I'm just laughing. No, man. This is not about <laughs> that, man. So, see, this is not about making fun of Daryl right now. This is a point. Do you need pressure to be successful? What's up, y'all? My name is Dev The Voice, host and creator of The Outrighteous Podcast. Also, oh, come on now, bro. Sorry, you was going too slow. But I'm Daryl Sullins Jr., founder and CEO of Known Gates. What was you about to say? Um, Today's episode is sponsored by The Outrighteous Podcast. The Outrighteous Podcast. Streaming everywhere. Now, the question is, what is the question, D? Do you, Do you need, need pressure to be, be successful? successful? Um, D, you go ahead and start. Do... Do you feel like you need pressure? I feel like in certain situations, it jump starts us to be successful or want to be successful. Right. Because like if you go through like some type of hardship, it's like, okay, I'm going through this. I want to overcome it. But right. I feel like sometimes when you come from a different position where everything is handed, mm-hmm. it could be hard. Oh, that's a good point. I, you know, the crazy thing is I actually feel like you don't need pressure. I think a lot of like successful people came from like – Nobody planning on them being successful. Um, and when, when you talk about, like, the pressure, what specifically is the pressure? Is the pressure your environment? Is the pressure your family? Is the pressure... It can, it's just a circum- whatever circumstance it is. Because yeah. I feel like pressure can pressure is so relative. Right. Like, it is. I can have problems in my own personal relationship, and that could be pressure for me to be successful. For sure. But I can... I guess I can... I guess I can rock with that as far as... Um, Not necessarily needing pressure... Or maybe the... Just <laughs> wanting to be successful. Be successful, yeah. Because if I think about it, at the time, like, starting no negations, uh, I don't think I had too much pressure at that time. Right. It's just something that I wanted to do. Something yeah. I was passionate about at the time. So that's For what sure. jump started me. Especially because, like, nobody knew that you was really working on that stuff. Like, no. when you first started, it was, like, three or four people who really knew what you were trying to do with it. Yeah, because... And you just did you it. You know how, like, sometimes you create something or you draw a picture? Yeah. And you don't show anybody because you don't know if For it's sure. cool or not? Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, the same yeah. thing how I felt with the game. Or, like, for me, it would be, like... I would have a girlfriend. I wouldn't show anybody. Right, because she's ugly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she so, so, she's like, ugly. But, hey, it was a lot of pressure yeah. on me. <laughs> Ma, I can't bring her home. Not yet. Not yet. But, um, nah, the crazy thing, so how you just said that you didn't have that pressure because you didn't really tell anybody. The crazy thing is, for me, I always tell people, I didn't have pressure. I never felt pressure to be successful because I wasn't doing well from, in, in like, high school. Mm-hmm. So... It was, it, I don't want to say it was easy for me to succeed, but it was, I was always under the radar. So it was okay. like, when, it, when, it, when I was working, nobody knew I was working. How do you, how, what about when people are like, I don't know what I want to be, I don't know what I want to do. You mm-hmm. think that's some type of pressure as far as, I, I'm getting to that age, I'm 23 years old and I still don't know what I want to do. Yeah. I'm 22 years old, I don't have a declared a major yet. Yeah. You know, you think that could be pressure to be successful in a way? or That's a deep question. I actually think that it's pressure when you make it pressure. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? So just how you said, man, I don't know what I want to be. I don't know what I want to do. If you take those comments and those remarks that you make to yourself serious, then it becomes that pressure that you need. But a lot of people, bro, a lot of people say that, but they don't even take it serious when they say it. So mm-hmm. they're like, yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm going to just go with the flow. It, it's not pressure when they're thinking like that. 
I guess, but let me think, think just think about it this way, right? Uh-huh. So I started No Negations a year ago. Right. And, you know, we were moving, we we're doing certain things at a slow level. Mm-hmm. But once my student loans hit, I'm like, look, we got to push this stuff. We got to get this <laughs> <secret> <laughs> this going. We got to get this apparel going, awesome. you know. We was in there ironing shirts, man. So you think pressure can, I guess, like, boost or jump or... Um, yeah, it it has um, the it drive to be word. successful because you know what it's like, bro. It's like when they say, you know how people be like, "Oh, I'm Kobe in the fourth, or I'm LeBron in the fourth. And that fourth quarter, that's where the pressure is. That's when that Michael Jordan. Michael, I say Bron. The greatest basketball <laughs> player of all time. I say Bron. <laughs> I say Bron. So look, I say uh, you know Bron, Kobe, Jordan, Phelps. I don't know if there's no quarters in swimming. I don't know why I just said Phelps. Tyson we go. We go edit that part out. We go edit that part out. But you know that that fourth quarter, those last couple seconds when it's tied up, or when y'all down by ten. Like, yo, have you ever seen that video of Tracy McGrady? He scored like fourteen points mm-hmm. in like a couple, a couple seconds. Minutes, yeah. yeah, yeah. Like that. You know what? It, it's funny because it does tie back to your point of like maybe you do need pressure. Um, maybe not. You don't need pressure to be successful. You need pressure in your, to enhance what you're doing. Like, I don't think you need pressure to start something. Oh, no, that, that won't be success, though. When I say, okay, you know what I'm thinking? When I think about it, it's not that you necessarily need pressure from uh, outside, you know, your environment or your mm-hmm. people. You sort of got to have that own pressure. Because even though I was a bad student, I wanted to be a good student. Mm-hmm. I wanted to go to college. Mm-hmm. So it wasn't, to some people, it looked like it wasn't working. But it, I was trying. Bruh, you remember in high school when we were in French? Oh, my God. And the teacher went walking by, rolled up that magazine, and threw it. Who did that? We are crawling in my locker. Yeah, bro. Listen, I wanted, I wanted to be, but I had to have that pressure. I had to create that pressure in my head of being a good student. Like I had to go to those summer school classes every summer to tell myself, I'm gonna stop coming here. I'm gonna stop coming here. I'm gonna stop coming here. But it started inside, though. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Oftentimes, you know how you said. If you have something handed to you, mm-hmm. those people they may feel pressure, but it's usually like pressure, like dang, I gotta take over my family's business. Maybe a different type of pressure. Yeah, it's a different type of pressure. Um, I didn't even think about that because, like, like I said earlier, like you can be pressured from any different angle, but how you, I guess how it's pushed on you could be different. Right. So like, uh, somebody who didn't have everything may be pressured because you know they if want. I. Yeah, they want, mm-hmm. and then people who have everything maybe pressure because the family is coming down on them, and it's just right. too much to bear. Yeah, so maybe they do. So, to keep it personal, let me ask you: <clears throat> you being so you you D Sullins Jr. Would mm-hmm. you rather have? I know you personally; they don't know you personally, <clears throat> but I'll vouch for you and say you weren't somebody who had things handed to you. Would you say that it was more pressure in you not having things handed to you versus? Having being around people who had things handed to them. We're gonna get we're gonna get deep for a little bit because yeah. I used I grew up in Beachwood, Ohio. I graduated from Beachwood High School. Shout out to the wood. Um, it's a play on a movie in a, a city. Uh, okay, uh, whatever. <laughs> whatever. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, but I grew up in Beachwood, High, and Beachwood is considered like a really nice neighborhood. neighborhood. Yeah, like uh, you got a lot of businesses in Beachwood, a lot of People right. that's rich. So when I used to tell people that I was from Beachwood, yeah. it was like, oh, he's stuck up. But, oh, he but has then you it. also got to take into consideration how you would say. People okay. be like, where are you from? You know what? I'm from Beachwood. Yeah, all right, whatever. Beachwood, Ohio. Okay, you know, <laughs> yeah. yeah, I didn't speak to that guy. But I grew up, so people are automatically said, or automatically like assumed that, you know, we were rich, rich because we were from Beachwood. Right. And so to me, that was a lot of pressure, I was, either in, even in my family, because right. it's like, Okay, this dude's from Beachwood. Oh, he's gonna be all right. Yeah, or whatever. So if sure. I'm not fat, yeah. it's like, okay, what happened to him? Is yeah. he like the black sheep? That type of thing. Right, right. So right. I think it's a different type of pressure. You know, both my parents end up doing uh, good things. Yeah. It's like, and then my dad speaks and does all this stuff. So it's almost like Daryl Sullivan Jr. Oh, this is what Daryl Sullivan Senior did. Right. What is he gonna do yeah. to fill them shoes? Yeah. So it's almost like that. So it's a lot, I think it's a different type of pressure. For sure. Like, especially when I'm with my dad. Mm-hmm. It's like because if my dad is talking about all his credentials, like winning the world games in karate yeah. or speaking or yeah. being a supervisor or mm-hmm. coaching and all this stuff, it's like, oh D, what you up to now? I'm like, yeah. oh, uh, 
class. I'm taking a, a I'm taking a, I'm taking a fifth year in college. That's <laughs> <laughs> what's my major. Like it's like it's like okay, that's a different it's a different yeah, type. Sure. So it's like I, I don't. It's not my parents' fault. Yeah. It's just I think how we think as a society. Yeah. You know that type of thing. So let's take a quick segue. Once again, today's episode or today's video is sponsored by the Outrageous Podcast. The Outrageous Podcast is your home for all your outrageous and information and entertainment. Um, stream it on Apple Mute, Apple's Podcast, Spotify, anywhere you get podcasts. Google Podcasts, Castbox. Um, it's a great comedy and informational podcast. So go ahead and stream that. And your boy is hosting it. And right? I like I like the Outrageous Podcast. I've been on one episode yeah, or a couple. Two. You've been on a couple. Yeah. yeah. You. I like the Outrageous Podcast because yeah. it gives platforms for. People to come and just speak what they think, and you know, yeah. and not saying that you're wrong or right, but mm -hmm. just being able to explain yeah. what you mean. Yeah, I feel like yeah. that's it's real power in being able to explain what you think. You know For sure. And a lot of people hit me up and was like, "Yo, get dude back on there." Um, and so I'm always like, "Yo, D, come through and shoot this video." Um, but also, I want to ask you. So getting back into our conversation of, do you need pressure to, do you need to feel pressure to be successful? Do you need pressure to be successful? Um, how do you handle that pressure, man? Like, like you are literally, our platforms are different because you are a business owner. Mm -hmm. How do you handle the pressure of maybe possibly failing as a business? Or I, the thing is, you just gotta live. I feel like I just gotta live day by day. I think I don't think about possibly failing because yeah. failing is not an option right. for me. So like, if something doesn't work in the business, yeah. we just go a different way. Yeah, like it's like. I just feel like it's easy just to, to quit, you know? For sure. Like, in none of the cases, we had different struggles so far, uh -huh. as every business would. Right. Even you on your podcast, you probably sure. have, every, yeah. have struggles. But I think what makes people great and good is yeah. being able to overcome. So think about, like, the Patriots. Mm -hmm. Why is the Patriots considered yeah. a great franchise? Yeah. True. Besides having some of the best pieces, man, they, that's a team who they literally get some un- I don't want to call it like unlikely heroes. Mm -hmm. Like, shoot, Brady was a six round draft pick. Yeah. And then they coach him up, boom, 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 you know. But, what, what, but the thing is, is like, even when the Patriots are down, yeah. or they oh, don't get I flustered. See what you're saying. You know, they can bounce Yo, back. Yo, Brady, that's be what cool. makes. Yeah, that's what makes the Patriots a great team. I hate to say I'm a Browns fan, but For sure. like, that's what makes the Patriots a great team. Is when they're no, behind, when they're going against an the obstacle, they're able to over overcome. That is they don't. They don't. That's the same thing that <laughs> I have to that I have to think about when it comes to. Uh, doing no negations and me and my other two partners, yeah. you know, we all have that same mindset for sure You know, it, whatever obstacle we face, we just gonna have to overcome it And yeah. I think that's why I don't feel the pressure of failing right because failing is not, an, not option. an option Yeah, I, and you know, it's funny you say I just met with a lady and, and we were talking about the pressures of failing and a lot of people feel pressured to fail and then they never try and When you never try that's when you really fail and mm -hmm. that's when you let the pressure you succumb to the pressure that you felt. Mm -hmm. I think the, the way that I handle pressure, man, is I don't even know if I told you, but before I started the podcast, you I don't know if you remember, but I pulled up to one of your events. You was like, yo, how's everything coming with the podcast? I think I was like, oh, I'm working on it, outlining it and everything. And then you was like, okay, that's what's up. And you, when are you thinking about dropping it? And so I'm like, sometime in January. So it was like December, and I had saved up this money, and it was like either go on a vacation or buy your podcast equipment. And I'm like, yo, I really want to go on this vacation. <laughs> but then I'm just like, yo, let me buy this equipment. Because once I buy this equipment, I will have no choice but to start. Mm -hmm. So it's either going to sit in here and pick up dust, or I'm going to just set it up and get started. Yeah. And so I created, just how like we said in the beginning, I created my, my own pressure. Like I mm -hmm. pressure myself to just go out there and leap and buy this equipment and get started. And so I say that because oftentimes you have to create your own pressure and still be very calm when you are creating your own pressure. Mm -hmm. People won't know that D is freaking out because this order of apparel didn't come in. Mm -hmm. But you like, yo, I gotta figure out how am I gonna say it. They only see the outcome. Right. They don't see what the goals of goals in the, yeah. the back. Yeah, and that's why I like that picture, bro. You probably seen it on Instagram. It's like an iceberg. And it's like you see the top oh yeah. Above the water. It's like yeah. success or whatever. Big and then, it is and the bottom is just like failure, divorce. Yeah. <laughs> 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 like everything. When so when we talk about do you do you feel, do you need to feel pressure in order to succeed? Um, talk about a time specifically where you felt pressure. Like what time was it, like we know that, okay, we heard about where you grew up at, but what time in your life was D like really felt pressure? By somebody or? No, it was going to school. Cause yeah. uh, my senior year in the exercise science uh, major, you have to take a test that's covered 
that covers all the material before you. Right. Now, you get, I think, four chances to take yeah. this test. Woo. Now, and you know, it took us a couple times to pass the OGTs. If you don't know what the OGTs are, because you might be watching this from California. Or Florida. Or Florida. Or Texas. And if you're watching this from Florida, you need to be studying. Or Spain. Yeah. yeah. Or uh, is Brazil Spain? <laughs> uh, well, uh, the OGTs is a test you need to graduate from high school. In Ohio. Yeah, in Ohio. Wow. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. What was I talking about? Um, you were talking about testing. Oh, for yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, in college, we had to take a test that's covered covered all the four years. Right. And the first time you take it, you gotta get like I think a seventy or something. Yeah. I got a sixty nine, so I just missed Dang. it. Dang. Yeah. Damn. <laughs> Damn. But you got to take it again. Right. Like you have four chances. But you know, <laughs> yeah, no, I'm just laughing. No, man, this is not about that, man. No, see, this is not about making fun of Daryl right now. This is a point. I'm gonna let you get it. You got it. You got it. This is why I can't. You got four chances that. every year. No, 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 no. Because <laughs> I was gonna say it was your senior. No, year. <laughs> you needed no, that. No, no, you only yeah. take it as a senior. Okay. Oh, okay, so, okay, 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 okay. It's going into the going into the um before the spring semester. Right. Um, so you have to take this test because if you don't pass it, you can't take the classes that's offered only in the spring for seniors. Dang. So you have to do another year. Yeah. So I took it again. What? Uh, I think the second time you have to take it, you have to get like a 73 or 74. Yeah. I got like a 73 or something like that. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. I didn't get it again. Right. The third time I get, I'm freaking out. Like, um, uh, in my teacher's office, like, yo, I've been studying. I know all these answers, but right. when I get to the test, it's like I draw a blank. Right. And so, just how like when it's time to read something, like in church when it's time no. to read something. Devin, <laughs> like, Devin has so many. Like, Devin has so many jokes. But, yeah. but yeah, but you know, and I'm and I, I'm talking to the teacher like, yo, what can I do to do this? I yeah. took it again. Yeah. Um, the second time, the third time, uh, I think you have to get like a seventy-eight or something like that. Yeah. I got a seventy-seven. Yeah. I just missed it. And the fourth time, I was in my room grinding, doing all this studying to try to. Get the uh, the pass it. I think the next time you had to take get an eighty two. Yeah. That last time I got a eighty nine. Wow. So yeah. it came so down to the wire. The so like I it was either do or die. Right. So that was probably the, the most pressure I received at that moment. Yeah. At this moment. And that's you know? used too because you only had that you had that last chance. Mm -hmm. So it's a great thing that you were able to practice three other times before you mm -hmm. <laughs> take it the last time. Oh. <laughs> uh, Oh, it's about your pressure. Remember when we was on the track? <laughs> yeah. And you was, you was at the state meet. Tell the people. You was at the state meet. Tell the people. And you was on the relay, right? Yeah, and yeah, yeah. so somebody was supposed to hand you the baton, but you right. weren't there. Yeah. Yeah, I was I was going through something. I was very pressured. You, but you weren't. A lot you weren't people. even on the track. Yeah, yeah I know. It's and it was too much pressure. Too, way too much pressure. <laughs> and so I succumbed to the pressure. <laughs> but I learned from that situation. Mm -hmm. Next year, state runner-ups. Then they closed our high school. Mm -hmm. Rest in peace. Too much pressure. Rest, way too much pressure. <laughs> um, so, I'll tell you what, people. Both of us, like we said, we've asked each other, do you need pressure to be? Do you need to feel pressure to be successful? Mm -hmm. That's the question. So, let's ask you all that same thing. Do you all need to feel pressure in order to be successful? Let us know. Leave your answers in the comment section. Yeah. If you can also follow us on social media at d e e underscore seven seven and dev the. Dev the underscore voice. Boy, don't even know his Instagram. I don't know my Instagram. It's the same as Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, MySpace, LinkedIn, Tinder. <laughs> <laughs> Follow but, us both. Yeah. DM us, comment, mm -hmm. leave a review. Rate the video, like, subscribe. subscribe. Hit subscribe. that red button. Subscribe. Shout that ding button. Yeah. Subscribe. Oh, give it a thumbs up. No thumbs down. Always a thumbs up. All right? Uh, D, what are we gonna call these videos, yo? What's the name for these videos, man? What do you like to come up with? Something. We'll come up with something. Hey, real talk. Real talk. Real talk. Just how real talk, bro. I got it. Yeah, real talk, man. That's real talk. It. Every video, real talk. New topic, new discussion by your two boys, your favorite host. Let's get it.